Yo, what's up guys? Mike Patrick and in this video, I want to talk about meditation. And I want to talk about how meditation helps you control your emotions, okay? And when you can better control your emotions, then you can better control your behavior, okay? Also, it's good for identifying your emotions, okay? And meditation is extremely important for not being reactive in life, okay? And not being so easily stimulated, okay, by whatever stimuli um, that your senses perceive, okay? And it just helps us be more mindful and more aware, okay? So we can live the best lives individually and collectively, all right? Um, now, I want to talk about this too because I just want to have this documented. This is good for, for my children, anybody's children, anybody. You know what I mean? Um, because you hear about meditation or, and things like that, but a lot of times people don't explain to you exactly effectively how to meditate and how to look at it and what you should be trying to achieve, okay, and giving a practical way of looking at it, okay, so you can get the most out of it. Because I know when I first heard about meditation and stuff, I, you know, I, I used to judge it as far as like you thinking in order to meditate, you got to be sitting in like a lotus position or something with, in a position with your legs crossed, you know, with your, with your hands out and your eyes closed. You know what I mean? And the times I tried to do it like that, it never, you know, it didn't really resonate with me. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't feel like I was getting anything out of it. You know, I was just going through the motions. And I think a lot of people look at meditation that way. Um, but meditation, but the thing about it, funny, you know, a funny, the funny thing is, is I always naturally been a great meditator because meditation is not necessarily that. I'm not saying that some people can't get good results from that if that's, um, the way that they that they need to go about getting into a certain uh, mental space, and some people that may be effective for them, okay. But meditation and effective meditation is anything that you do that gets you at that zero point, okay, at that 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 blank place, all right, that place where you don't judge your emotions, that place where you don't judge your thoughts, you just let things come and go. And at, but at the same time, you're aware of them and you're analyzing them, okay? And so whatever you're doing that can get you in that state, then that's meditation, okay? Um, coupled with con um, controlling your breathing. But that's all about mindfulness, you know what I mean? So when you're controlling your, your breathing, the reason why that is meditation within itself, because you're being conscious and mindful of your breathing, so you're being conscious uh, and aware of a sensation, okay? Because you have to, you have to kind of think about, you know what I mean, or or kind of blank, blank like your thoughts, so to speak, to try to envision your breaths, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that just naturally puts you in a in a frame of mind of meditation, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. So with that said, you could be meditating if you're walking. Okay, you could be meditating. Me personally, I my whole life, the reason I was always good at it and didn't even know it is because my whole life I used to, I, I still do, but I rock back and forth. You know what I mean? And usually anything that puts you in a rhythm is something that's good and what you would consider meditative. Okay, you could, some people can be, can find that state by dancing. Some people can find that state by rocking back and forth. Anything that puts you in a rhythm, like in a, in a state of hip, almost like a hypnotic state. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And so, and then the idea, though, and also is to do now what you're trying to achieve, though, is being aware of everything, okay, without judgment. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you are always, if let's say you're alone, right? And then somebody comes busting through, um, 
let's say a door, let's say if you're alone in a room, but somebody just busts into your room, you know what I mean? Um, it's like instead of being reactive and just and just looking and like <laughs> and jumping like that that most people they get like they would get scared right or they would be uh alarmed or that would be um surprising to them if somebody just bust in their room unexpectedly you know what i'm saying so they're reactive and so the natural reaction would be like to look up fast or to jump like what you know what i mean like that but when you start to master your emotions and when you start to be able to meditate and things like that and you start to master not being reactive and you analyze everything first and realize what uh reaction you could have do i have to react this way you see what i'm saying the, you know am, am i on our autopilot because the autopilot reaction would be what you know what i mean society normally we if that happens we see people react like <gasps> You know what I mean? Startled or whatever. You know what I mean? But do you really have to react that way? You see what I'm saying? So the meditation is that mindfulness, but not judging it. Saying, asking yourself that question like, okay, do I have to react this way? Why did I react that way? Why did I jump? Why was I startled? You see what I'm saying? Why did something that, that was abrupt, you know what I mean, startle me necessarily? You know what I mean? Um... Uh, or why did I react that way? Some might startle you, but because if you already uh, distracted or doing something else, 